Good morning. Oh my goodness. My my dad is vacuuming. So so there's that. <laughs> so I am doing cancer. I'm gonna work on these all week all week guys. Um I'm gonna go in the order of kinda like how it comes at me. So I did Taurus first because, you know, it rules Venus, even though it's in Pisces right now. It's it's still what's at the most okay so it it rules Taurus right so I just I left it at Taurus even though it's in Pisces because it's, it's she's the goddess and she comes first okay <laughs> I'd rather Venus come first before Neptune but anywho I'm gonna go in the order of the flow of kind of what the previous reading is is telling me okay so hope that makes sense to you guys my my little method okay let me just write down that i did taurus and now i'm doing cancer so cancer please this is gonna be the last half of january best things in my life are free that song just keeps coming to me and to me, I was trying to figure it out the other day, but love, love is, love is free. Okay, so. You got the three of pence right off the bat. Right off the bat. So there's some type of, you know, these are love readings, but when work comes into play, all right, this is some type of, Collaboration, partnership, cancer, last half, last half, January 2020, it's also a contract, so just be careful. You also got the Wheel of Fortune right here with the Ten of Cups. So you have some type of fulfillment in your life right now. Or it's coming towards you. Lots of love. If this is work related, you're going to be very content. Something's going in your direction. It's a new karmic cycle. This is a karmic contract. And whatever it is, is going to make you happy. You're stressed out with the Nine of Swords here. Not sleeping. Or you're just worried. So something's going to come in. That's too many. Something's going to come towards you. I think is going to make you happy. Okay. But it's, there's, there's worry. And I, I don't really want to talk about the Taurus reading. I'm, I'm hoping you're going to watch these in order. And you can fill in the blanks. Because this to me okay is the continuation of Taurus it's almost like almost every zodiac I think is going to be a little continuation of something so basically I'm telling a story with an all 12 zodiacs okay so you know you take that as how you see the story it's kind of cool I'm doing it this way curious to see how it will all unfold by the time I get to the 12th zodiac so you definitely got destiny on your side that could be worry that could be fear but it's it's happiness at the same time okay cancer 
So continuing from Taurus, this may be fear of whatever that this person coming towards you, okay? Which right now could be the Knight of Swords. All right, so you could be dealing with an Aquarius or this can be law enforcement um, or you're just dealing with, with air, okay? Um, you don't really see court, but I think you're coming in very grounded. This person is either going to want some type of commitment with you, some type, it's a, it's a partnership, it's a collaboration, it's, it's destiny. The Hierophant did just pop out. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Cancer. Cancer. I think someone's trying to get your attention. You get the fool. Okay. So you got an opportunity. Okay. For a, it's, it really is like that. For a brand new start. Um, it, it's, it's taking a risk. Whatever this is, is a little risky. But what's life without risk, right? You are going to be a little nervous. Whatever this is, is going to kind of keep you up at night. So... Remember, maybe some tea helps you guys, a, a nice bath, you know, especially for those who are parents, you know, just because you do it for your kid, you know, don't forget to do it for you. I mean, you remember like you would be like, oh, you'd always give them a bath or a little tubby before bed. Why? Because it relaxed them. Okay. So don't forget to take care of you. So you got the eight of pens here. So this, this looks like work and love. Okay. But, um, it does, it does look like work. This is a new contract. This is, you know, research. It's also partnership. It's, it's an apprenticeship. This is something that you you might not have done before. You might be working with some type of community because Aquarius rules community friendships. You know that's for sure a, a karmic contract right here. It's you're on your journey, okay? So you're on a journey. It's, the could, I mean, this could just be all love and you place it that way. But there's something that work. It, there could be three people, multiple people. It could be the two of you. This is usually you. It's, it's almost like, don't, don't doubt yourself. I, I don't see it, but I, I can, I can see it. Okay. I don't feel it, but it's, I said it, right? So let's find out. Let's find out what this three of pence is. Cancer, last half of January, 2020. Seven of swords. So, you, this is fear, because the knight of pence is at the bottom of the deck. This has to do with your future with the three of wands, too. There's an offer coming at you, whether it's work or love, Okay, and it, it is fear. It, it is, it's going to be a little intimidating. I think you might feel restricted for a little while. 
Tell me about this King of Swords. <clears throat> this King of Swords is involved with whatever this is. The High Priestess. Someone's secretly pursuing you. Secretly watching you. This is a surprise. This Seven of Swords right here is it's it's a surprise. Secretly planning, secretly pursuing, making sure this energy is secretly pursuing without anybody knowing. So this, this person's not saying nothing to nobody. Maybe friends or whoever they're collaborating with, they might be talking about you. You could be a high priestess, you, you could be, you know, a medium, anything. To me, it's, it's destiny. That's why it seems something's falling into place because somebody's taking a risk or you're going to take a risk. Looks like you're going to go for it, but only because you're like, you're researching it. You're thinking about it. it it's, it's keeping you up. It's just don't let fear get the best of you. Remember, I'm telling a story. Tell me about this eight of pence. You got the hangman reverse. So if somebody was in isolation mode, they're thinking about it. This is also some type of sacrifice. Um, tell me about the hangman reverse. That's way too many. Something flips. There we go. Um, tell me about the hanging reverse. The tower reversed. Uh, yeah, I don't know what you're gonna do. This might be somebody else's fear thinking that you're not gonna wanna partake. But I, I think it's it's more your fear. I don't I don't not quite sure. Cause coming in in cancer energy, the first one out is Aquarius, right? So we also have Leo. I mean, we also have this person could have a lot of Leo in the chat, but Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and Pisces. But to me, this is someone secretly pursuing. So I feel like you're dealing with an Aquarius or somebody's moon because it's all about like their feelings or work, their midhaven is air. But this is opportunity for two people, three people, multiple people. Okay. Um, It's, it's a risk for both of you, but it's, it's, it's fulfilling. It's satisfying. I think this might actually be my cancers or my woman from the previous story. This is, is fear. Tell me about this nine of swords. It, it's just you're restless. You're like, I don't, you're back and forth. Like, the hermit soul searches, right? Wants something. Well, that's not the hermit. Damn. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Shit. Okay. Hold on. It, yeah, your brain is scattered. It's like you need to reflect. So something major is being offered. Major. Because you. It, it's like you don't. You don't know what to do. 
kind of avoiding. So you're definitely contemplating. Like somebody must have put an offer. That's an offer. It's a message. It's coming at you. It, it is it is happy. You are you are happy. It is a risk, okay? So don't get all up in your head. This is where that fear kicks in. Tell me about this nine of swords. So you got the lovers reversed with justice. So you're finding balance within a situation and, and you you are going to make a decision. I don't know what your decision is going to be. It will be a justified decision. It is karmic. So when it comes to work, right now we don't know what you're going to do. But the opportunity is here whether it's actual a partnership regarding finances or it's just a partnership in general. Obviously, at one point, the tower came down. It's back around. So this is also the universe. You know, just picture it this way. Yeah, it's a risk. It's a new journey. It, it looks good. It, 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 is, it is, you know, part of your destiny. So... It's almost like you know what to do when it comes to a sacred bond. So there is love here, whether work is involved or not. It's almost like you do the right thing when it comes to that. I don't know if you're questioning, do I work with someone I love? You know, because um, you're not quite getting back to them when it comes to what this is. It is it's not a bad thing. You're doing it the right way. you know, logically. So it's it's not a bad thing. We'll let the we'll let the story continue. Okay. So let's let's get your own moon card. And I don't need to tell you that I mean that's look at the love. But that's that's a journey, that's a risk. That's a new opportunity with the wheel that that's here to create fulfillment. Okay. So it's see the love of work. I'm not looking at this in, in a bad way at all because upright, this is the universe interfering and, and this is you really introspection, you know, really like, okay, like you're gonna, your perspective is going to go back and forth, back and forth, but I don't think it's gonna, I think it's fine. Cancer. I don't need to give you your answer or outlook or, you know what I mean? Because you're just, yeah, you're going to take a risk. So we're definitely following Taurus at the bottom of the deck. But, like, what I was going to say is it, it ultimately it is, it's up to you. I, I, don't, I don't need to continue to read on that. But you do have success. So, I mean, it says a whole lot, right? So, let's see. It's also a congratulations. It says, you must celebrate now as I do. You have achieved success. Accomplishments are now yours and you're in the position to reap the rewards of your hard work. The symbol of success reminds you that hard work pays off. Being true to yourself and refusing to compromise to yield good things. Choosing the symbol is a wondrous sign that all is well in your life. The symbol requires you to keep working hard. The least you lose the knowledge you have gained. Now, it's time, now is not time for slacking off. Keep going and celebrate even the smallest victories. Be proud of yourself as I am proud of you. Remember, everything you choose will now come into realization. So choose wisely. Okay? So, again, from the continuation, do not let fear stop you. 
but this is a massive congratulations. Okay, so I think next we'll move to Aquarius. Well, that's somebody, that's just a logical thinker. So I think what we're going to do is Berg, well, that's the author with this. I'll figure it out. <laughs> I shall figure it out. I love you guys. I hope this helps. And, and you know, the story is going to continue. Love you guys. Bye.